Hey everybody, it's Kyla at the MJC, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about the divorce part two when you're filing default, so that means you serve by publication, and you're filing without minor children. But before I get started, as always, just a reminder that nothing in this video is intended to be legal advice. It's a video, so I'm not able to analyze your specific situation to evaluate whether serving by publication was the right thing in your situation, to determine whether these are the right forms for you to go forward with, to determine whether uh, a court is likely to grant your proposal, or whether what you're proposing is in your best interest. So if you have these questions, or any similar questions, you may want to get some legal advice. You can get brief legal advice for free here in Milwaukee County through the Marquette Volunteer Legal Clinics. If you're not located in Milwaukee County, you can contact your clerk of court to find out what resources are available in your county. All right, so as I mentioned before, this is the default, um, and default and publication we use synonymously. Uh, some places, depending on your county, you may find that they use default to describe any non-contested divorce, um, but in this video series, when I use the term default, I'm referring specifically to those of you who served by publication. Uh, and in this video, it's just a brief introduction. We're going to go through when you use the default paperwork and what paperwork you need if you're filing default without minor children. If you published and you do have minor children, then you'll want to check out our video series on filing part two default with minors. All right, uh, so the first section that we've got here is just a brief intro on when to use the publication, default publication forms without minors. Um, you'll use these if you tried to serve your spouse and after you used reasonable diligence to try and have your spouse personally served, you were unable to do so. So that means you tried to serve through the sheriff or a private process server uh, and were unable to do so. And again, that you tried uh, with reasonable diligence. So basically you tried as hard as you could uh, and were unable to get your spouse served. If you uh, continued this way, if you uh, went forward by uh, publication, you will need to have four service documents. You'll need to have the affidavit of non-service, or if you tried multiple times at multiple addresses or multiple ways, you'll want to have the affidavits of non-service from the sheriff or private process server or both if you tried both. Uh, you'll also need the proof of publication from the newspaper that you published in. You'll need the little square green uh, certified mail return receipt. Uh, because you should have sent the paperwork by certified mail to the last known address as well. And you'll also need an affidavit of mailing. Uh, and that particular affidavit of mailing that you need is FA4121B. Uh, and you'll use the default without minor children if you and your spouse do not have any minor children together. Uh, do note, if you are requesting maintenance, so if you're filing this paperwork and you want to say that your spouse should have to pay maintenance and you served by publication, uh, then we strongly recommend getting some legal advice. That can be a bit of a tricky argument to make, and so um, legal advice is really helpful in that situation. All right, so if you hear all of that and you say, you know what, this is my situation, yep, I meet all of those criteria, I either got legal advice or I don't need legal advice or what have you, then your next question is, well, what forms do I need? And we've got those here. Uh, you will need to do a financial disclosure statement. And I guess before I get all the way into this, I should note that um, these are just the forms you need. Uh, there are some additional items you need. So we have a checklist. Um, we also have a video of uh, me going through that checklist that um, describes everything you need to file. These are just the forms that you need to fill out. So just be aware, these are the forms you need to fill out, not every single document and item that you'll need when you go to file. Uh, so anyway, you'll need a financial disclosure statement. And I've listed the form numbers for you so that if you need to go find these forms, you can hunt them down. If you've already gotten the packet of paperwork from your local law library, um, that's great. Or if you have found or want to go find the forms on our website, which is www.milwaukeejusticecenter.org, 
that's great. You can also find them on the WI Courts uh, forms site. But if you're out looking for it, um, these form numbers might be able to help you make sure that you've got the right one. Uh, next, you'll want the proposed marital settlement agreement without minor children. You do need to have the proposed or proposed marital settlement. Um, there is a marital settlement agreement without minor children, and that's not the right form. You need the proposed one. Be careful with that because they look really similar. You'll need a proposed parenting plan. At least here in Milwaukee, we have you do a proposed parenting plan. Uh, again, depending on your county, some may not require that when you're uh, doing the default, but here in Milwaukee, we do have, uh, we do the proposed parenting plan. You'll need an interim financial summary if you're requesting maintenance. Uh, do recall that uh, if you are requesting maintenance, we think it's a great idea to get legal advice if you're using the default paperwork. Uh, you'll want to do the divorce annulment worksheet unless you're doing a legal separation. If you're doing a legal separation, then you don't need to complete the divorce annulment worksheet at this time. You'll want to do uh, the findings of fact and conclusions of law and judgment without minor children. The party's approval of the findings of fact and conclusions of law and judgment, with it should be without minor children. So you guys get to watch me fix my typo right here as we speak. Um, so without minor children, uh, that form number is correct, but uh, I just had a little typo in my form. And last but not least, you will want to do the abridgment regarding surname if you are proposing that you or your spouse uh, return to a, be allowed to return to a maiden name or any other former surname uh, that either of, you, either of you may have had in the past. So those are all of the forms. Uh, if you watch the rest of this series, I'm going to go through each of those forms and talk you through how to fill them out and give you some tips and tricks. But that is all for this introduction. Thank you all for watching. I hope that this was helpful. If you do have additional questions, during non-pandemic times, you can find us in the Milwaukee Justice Center located in room G9 of the Milwaukee County Courthouse. For now, that's all from me. Thanks again for watching, and I hope that you all go out and represent yourselves well.